Hi, Joe Hood here again with my ortho track specialist, Audrey Doyle. And Audrey's going to show us how to manage a checklist and to do lists right in ortho track. Take it away, Audrey. Thanks, Joe. So each staff member in ortho track has their own personal login, and you'll see here I'm logged in as John Samples. So if I click on my personal to do list that's right here, we have a very quick and easy list that we can add items. So if we want to remember to call a parent back or, um, or call, a, call a specific doctor, it's very easy to uh, add a new item uh, and be reminded of that. Now, one of the other nice things that even the personal to-do list lets us do is even enter some additional instructions, but we can also assign that list, that, that item to another staff member. So if we do want to make uh, maybe a quick reminder to one of our staff members to get something done for us, uh, it's pretty easy. We can also set a pop-up reminder there so that it pops up at them at a specific day and time. Uh, so very easy to, to add items there. Now, uh, that's our personal list. Now, we also have an office-wide checklist. So if we want to specific items to get done in the office, and it doesn't matter, it might be uh, several people who, who may be responsible for an item at any one time, we can set those on either a daily, a weekly, or a monthly checklist, and then when we go through, um, we can add, add new items here, um, or we can simply uh, double click and it will mark that I have completed the item for the day. So uh, very easy to, to add not only um, office-wide reminders, but personal to-do lists into OrthoTrack.